Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're still at this situation with uh, the fellow that needs his servant healed. You should do it because he built a synagogue for us. Well, that was the argument. But now we're going to see the rest of the story. Luke chapter 7, verses 6 to 8. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was already not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not even think myself worthy to come to you, but say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. So this is totally in contrast, isn't it, to the argument that you should help him because he, he built this for us. But he himself is, is filled with humility. He says, well, I didn't even think you should even come under my roof. I just only barely even sent for you. Uh, because, you know, I'm not even worthy to receive anything. But I know you have the power. I know you have the authority. Just do it. So there is Jesus going onward, but he's coming to a man who's filled with humility. And look at his understanding of, of how things work in the kingdom of heaven. I'm also, and he had the perfect illustration, I'm a man placed under authority. I tell a soldier to go here. He goes here. I tell him to go there. He goes there. And he says, I know that you have that kind of authority in spiritual matters. And that's exactly true. That's the, thing, the authority that Jesus has. We'll see that tomorrow morning. So, friend, uh, we should have that kind of understanding. When God says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. So we don't need to mess around. We don't need to, to debate about it. We don't need to worry about it. We Worrying will not help anything to happen. God will do it if it's the right thing to do. So, you know, watch out. Let's just let God be God. And let's make sure we are like this guy, humble servants humble requesters, and just see what God then will do. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, no, we haven't built perhaps a synagogue or donated so much money to the church or this or that, and those are nice, those are good. But Lord, again, we, uh, we are glad that your kingdom it works on the basis of your great authority. Jesus commands it and it happens. That's the way we can live, knowing that when you've commanded it, uh, we just want to go with it, Lord. Be our helper, be our king. Be like the centurion in our lives, Lord. Show us where to go and what to do and, and, and empower us to do it. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, God bless you and understand the simplicity of faith, just like this Roman soldier understood it. God bless you today.